Pulse is an intergovernmental initiative that supports scientists in Europe. It helps them meet other scientists so they can develop research projects together. PLOS has several tools to help scientists in their research. Among these training schools, it opens doors in their career so they can meet other scientists in different fields, but also scientists in their own fields and develop techniques to develop their research. I'm Lone Hansen, I'm from Denmark. My name is Tina Wallin, I'm from uh, Stockholm. Now what we are doing here is uh, really a state-of-the-art introduction to a very sophisticated technology. The modern proteomics approach that we use here in the Institute in our core facility. During this course, uh, I get in touch with every single detail, every step on the way from sample to the analysis and the final results. And there are lectures in every area of this field. The content of my lecture is to give an overview over the latest development in proteomics uh, technology. New ideas are coming from the young people, so we can just initiate it. And for this, we have to tell them all we know about it. It's always nice to have some expert at, uh, in a special field that you can contact with if you have questions and so on. So it's much easier if you met them in person. I think it's nice to have the practical, hands-on experience. Uh, not only the theoretical. To round off an exciting week of research activities, a visit to the Centre for Diabetics proved to be an emotional and inspiring experience for the young researchers. The young researchers become aware of what modern technologies in biochemistry, in physiology, in biomedicine can uh, really do. Uh, my name is uh, Muriel Salem. I'm French. My name is Trevor Woods from Trinity College Dublin. The course session we have this week is uh, very special in a way that we are bringing many domains from the chemistry, from the physics and from the material together. From these trainings I expect to we say, get a different understanding of different areas of the science other than my uh, polymer nanocomposites and also to exchange ideas with people in the same fields. And we try to gather all information collected inside cost actions to new early research researcher so they can profit at the earliest of the career of this know-how. So then you get an up-to-date view on where things are at, the cutting edge of science, and people can learn very quickly in a concise manner. All the lectures were different, and all what I listened during this week was completely new for me. I really extend my knowledge. After four days of courses at the Empire in Thun and the EPFL in Lausanne, the young researchers headed for Villigan, where they were given privileged access to the synchrotron, a world-famous light source used in biological, chemical and materials research. Uh, the feeling to visit the synchrotron today is very exciting. It is the cutting edge of science in the world today. So I'm very excited to learn about this area and hopefully you know, bring back some good stories to my colleagues back in Ireland about the, the, new, the new wonderful world of science at the synchrotron. from the Netherlands. Yeah, my name is Andreas Kroh. I'm from the Technical University of Dresden in Germany. Post-glacial rebound is very important for relative sea level change. 
So oceanographers, uh, but also uh, people who are working with climate sciences in general, uh, understood here that this uh, effect of the vertical motion of uh, the land is a very important contributor to ongoing sea level changes, which is a very important issue nowadays uh, for a society. This training school was really a very good opportunity for me to learn how to model uh, glaciers and to model the post-glacial rebound. It was a very fruitful week. We had many different lectures on different topics given by real experts in their fields. The lecturers are really famous. I mean, you read articles from them and then it's, it's really cool to see them in real life and explain it to the young researchers like me. They can uh, uh, learn theoretical aspects of the problem by the professors. And we have made uh, an experiment with the students in the sense that during these days here, we have uh, asked the students to work with uh, computer programs uh, which have been particularly designed for simulating uh, the response of the Earth to the melting of the continental ice sheets. So I want to get a little bit in detail, get something about the theory, but of course, in addition with practicing. Yeah, and this was really successfully done during this training school. Leaving their computer-generated models behind them, the young researchers went to see for themselves how sea levels have changed through time. A hands-on experience not to be missed. We make uh, practical exercises in order that we can uh, physically estimate the order of magnitude of the phenomena we are investigating. It was really impressive to see a former beach, a boulder beach, which is now 200 meters above sea level. Well, a field trip is good to see in real life what's happening with all the models because researchers try, tend to forget that what they are modeling is not certainly the truth. sharing of your knowledge is, is the best way forward for science. You can learn so much from other people because they have met certain problems and they can tell you, yeah, I have had this problem before and then they can help you solve it. So this helps us all, you know, with better ideas and scientific understanding for the future. And they've seen things from a different angle. They go back and they reanalyze their situation with a new focus. And sometimes this leads to, to a breakthrough in the current work. By coming to the training school, they learn to build direct contact with uh, many different talented scientists. I think many collaborations actually started here at a very early stage. And I'm sure that in the coming years, these collaborations will go on. And this is the place to meet people, to meet the people whose articles you've read, to meet the people who make the models and to create a network. So I would definitely go. Yeah. Science means fun and science will be part of your life. So when you can feel this spirit and you go back home, then I'm really lucky. Then we succeeded with our training school. Mm -hmm.